Hello YouTube. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about installing Android Nougat on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. Now as you can see the phone is running Android Marshmallow stable ROM as of now. The only thing that I've done is I've unlocked my bootloader which is a must if you want to flash this particular beta firmware because it is a fast boot update and uh, on a locked bootloader you cannot flash this particular update. So if you go to settings and then go to developer options, you have an option called my unlock status. It shows clearly if your device is locked or not. Next thing to do is uh, we would be looking at the prerequisites that are required in order to ensure that we can flash this particular update. You need to have at least 50% of battery on your phone and unlock bootloader, of course, USB debugging to be enabled and my flash tool and a micro USB cable is required. Now I'm going to guide you through installing my flash tool and you know extracting the firmware and all the steps. So the links for the same are mentioned in the description. You can download everything from there. Now first things first we will go ahead and install my flash tool on your computer. We need to have a Windows computer. Now let's go ahead and double click on the setup file of my flash tool. It's pretty easy to install. It's just a couple of steps. Just open the file and hit next, 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 and the My Flash tool will be installed. Now, after this, once you've uh, downloaded the beta firmware, which you can see on the screen right now, it will be in a zipped format. All right. So you just need to right click on it and hit extract files. Now, once you hit extract files, you need to select your desktop as a location and hit OK. Now, this process will take roughly 30 seconds to a minute. Now, a little background on this particular update. Uh, it's a very stable update. Voice over LTE is working, so all Geo users should not have any problem. All right, and the battery backup has improved. It is much smoother compared to Marshmallow, and all the usual Android Nougat goodies are also included. Now, let's move on to the next step, which would be opening the My Flash tool, and uh, here we go. So once you've opened my flash tool, you just need to click on select and select the folder that we've just extracted from the beta firmware. Very important, uh, please select the clean all button at the bottom of the my flash tool. And uh, what you need to do then is connect your phone in fast boot mode. And you will see after you click refresh, it is detected by the flash tool and you simply need to click on flash. Now to enter fast boot mode, you need to power your device off, press and hold the power down and volume down button that is volume down and power off button once you keep it pressed for two to three seconds you will see a fast boot logo on your phone's screen and then you need to simply connect it to the computer and there you go in about say roughly one to two minutes you will see a success message on your computer screen and the phone will automatically start booting